if you're in a funk, I mean, if you're in Toronto and you're in a funk in this weather, then I don't know what's going on with you because the weather is phenomenal, phenomenal today. So if you're feeling anything, get outside and get some of that vitamin D because that is real. Um, and I do that whenever I've been in the house for too long, especially if you work from home, I go outside, even if I'm like, okay, I can't like, I get really distracted in coffee shops. So I don't spend a lot of time there because everything that's happening in there totally distracts me. Like I remember somebody was like, these kids were like making out once. And I was just like, we're in the Starbucks guys. We're in the Starbucks. Really? I'm trying to like create an empire from the Starbucks. So I don't go there that often, <laughs> but I'll take a walk like around the block or I'll go in the backyard or something. So Hey, um, what's up? What's up everybody who's joining? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today um, I wanted to talk about living with no regrets uh, because I had a conversation with a client um, over the weekend and, you know, she was just sharing how, you know, how scary entrepreneurship is and how the next move in her life is going to be very difficult and scary. And, you know, she really wants her business to work. She really wants her business to work. And I mean, how many of us have been in that space, Right where we're, we've been doing all kinds of things and we're just like, I really just wanted to work this time. I've been doing all of these things. And when we got to the end of the conversation, you know, first of all, she's phenomenal. What she's building is phenomenal. Um, it's going to take being a phenomenal human being to get it out into the world and to stick with it even through the hard times. So one thing, you know, I said to her was just like, if not you, then who, right? Like, hey, Jane, welcome. You know, it's like, if you're not, if it's not you who puts out the message, who's going to do it? No one else is going to do, is going to put out what you were meant here to put out. And then the other piece of that was just like, will you ever look back and regret starting this business? You know, and she was like, no, like this is like, even if it doesn't work, I'll never regret doing it. Like it's been a, you know, a great experience. And I was like, well, that's the answer. That's it. If you're not going to regret it, then you do it. If you are going to regret it, then it's time to make, it's like, um, if you're going to regret not doing it, then you've got to make that move no matter what, no matter how hard, no matter how scary. So for any of you guys out there, Hey Monique, I'm Monique too. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. <laughs> Which I never seem to do because I just have it like, you guys know me. Um, no, that's not facts. <laughs> um, I'll let you know who I am at the end if anyone cares. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, so it ha it really like just sparked something for myself because I was telling her to, you know, live without regret no matter what it is that you're doing. If you're going to be building anything you know, just take the plunge, just go do whatever it is that you, you think that you're out, out here to be doing and live without regret. And she's like, that was the thing, no matter, we had like a, like a 45 minute conversation. She's like, and that was the thing that really resonated with her where she took, she was like, now she's like, she was, you could tell like even in her, in her voice and everything, her energy, it's like, she was ready to go take action, period. That's it. And that's all this is about, right? Like if I don't, the only thing, um, like the one thing I pride myself on is just having people take new actions, any action to get them out of the space that they're in. Um, yes, Jane says no risk, no risk, no reward. Yeah. And everything's a risk. Waking up in the morning's a risk. Getting behind the wheel of your car is a risk. So we always want, we want to look at like, how are we judging our risk factor as well? Like we could say leaving our nine to five and starting a business is a risk. I mean, it is for some people and for some people, it's just another, it's another job. It's another day, right? So for you, you, we all have our own risk threshold. Um, but the thing you want to look at is really, are you going to have any regrets around not doing the thing? And that is the biggest, I mean, that's everything, right? Um, you know, Gary V talks about Gary Vaynerchuk. For those of you who don't know who he is, please just go look him up. I've been like inundating myself with his audio all weekend um, because I do find it's so easy to get in our heads about what we're not doing and what we are doing and whatever. And Gary V is not for everybody. Like, honestly, like he tells it like it is. And that's what I respond to. So you want to know, you've got to know who your, your online and offline mentors are and um, how you respond to them. I respond really well to 
the things Gary Vee says because it just you if you listen to him and you listen to me it's like you'll kind of get like we have you know just a similar similar temperament I mean I wouldn't say I match his by any means um but there's a drive there and a passion there and um I've been listening to him all weekend so he talks about going to you know if you've ever sit with a 90 year old person and you talk to them about their life it's like if you listen to the things that they regret not doing you would really take stock of where you are in your own life and what it is that you're not doing right hey Chantel hey Candice Cadis. I think it's Cadis. cute Cadis. um Baypreneurs <laughs> welcome great name great name so hey Kamal welcome so that was so interesting to me right because that just like if we think about it some of us I don't know how old everybody is 30s 40s 20s some of you but it's like you're gonna if you fast forward to your 90th birthday if we are blessed to live that long and be there it's like do you want to be sitting there being like I wish I had done that thing like now there's literally not enough time to do the thing I wish I had done that thing and that is like my biggest fear right that's my biggest fear it's getting to a point where you now physically can't do the things you said you wanted to do so if you physically can go do the things that you say you want to do then you got to go do it because no one else is going to do it for you right and it's just like I really want you guys to take that in this week when you're like going through your day going through what's so hard about your business going what's so even what's so hard about your life you know it's like guys this is it <laughs> this is all we have for like right now hey McCool welcome um Janielle and Azetta welcome for thanks for joining um but like this is actually it like not in like a let's talk about it let's have a motivational speech about it like go read a book about it like no guys there is no like life later there is no once I get somewhere I'll do x it's like you only have right now this is it the only thing certain is that one day you won't be here that's the only thing certain what you do within this time frame is all you get five four three two one get it get her done <laughs> says Jane yes um, and that's from the five second rule. So if you guys haven't read that book, you may want to like if that, if there's something you need to push, go read the five second rule. Um, I love, love, love that book. Um, so whatever it is you want to be doing, and this is how I kind of like put it in a box for myself. I always say now, like, and some of you guys know my journey, right? Like I'm a cancer survivor one year you know, last time, this this time last year, I was undergoing chemotherapy and then I started my business and I was like, no regrets, no time, but now let's get it moving because tomorrow you don't know what happens, right? So you guys know, for those of you who know me, you know I come from that place and that's it. And I coach from that place and I create my programs from that place. Everything I do is from that place because it's a, it's a knowing now, right? And I don't want anyone to have to get that knowing to take the move. I don't want you to have to get cancer to get that. I really don't. It's not because not everybody comes out on the other side, you know? And so what I think about now when I'm doing anything, when I get frustrated in my, and I'm talking specifically in my business, but it doesn't have to just be your business. Like my business is a part of me because it's something I want to leave in the world. I want to create something that changes somebody else's life. It's, I think about Monique, what you're doing right now if tomorrow you did not wake up, like you were not here, would you regret this moment in time? Would you be like, you wasted your time yesterday doing X? And if the answer is yes, then I no longer do that thing. Like I really have to like take that thing off, off, off my plate. So, and I'm not talking about doing things in your business that you hate. There are things that are fundamental to business development that have to happen, right? So if there's pieces of your business that you hate doing and you're like, I don't want to do social media posting, my funnels, my email list, like all of that stuff, then it's your job to figure out how to make money to outsource that, right? However, 
if you're working on a business that you love, those pieces are still working on your business. So it's not something you would regret, right? So when I'm working on the back end parts of my business, I'm like, I would not regret if tomorrow was no longer here, I was working on X because this is all part of what I was trying to leave in the world, right? So I want you guys to take that into your day and take that into your week, whatever it is that you're doing. And maybe it's not with your business. Maybe it's in your job. Maybe it's um, in your family. Maybe it's in a relationship. Like if you guys are in like, I mean, relationships are a big one. Like um, that, like I could start a whole different feed on just relationships. I'm just saying. Um, but if there's a toxic relationships, if you're in one, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your partner, whether it's a friendship, whether it's with your, your mom or whoever it is, it's like you want to just look at if you're having an argument, if you're having a disagreement, or if you're in an, a relationship that you can detach yourself from. And it's like, it's like, get it done then. Let's get it done. There is no, there's no guarantee of tomorrow. So move it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like move it now. Um, so ask yourself, like, it, and I mean, guys, like, feel free to post it in the comments. Is there something right now that you want to be moving on, but you're so afraid to do it and you know, if you don't do it, you're going to regret it. I'd like to like, feel free to share, feel free to share. Um, so there's nothing, you don't want to have any regrets left on the table. And if you don't know what they are or there's, and you want to look at like, what is, what's keeping you up at night? What's that burning desire for whatever it is? What's keeping you up at night? Being like, man, I wish I did that thing. I wish I started that business. Even if you suck at business. Hey, Lana, welcome. Even if you think you'll suck at business or even if you suck at business or you know nothing about it, it's like, will you still regret not starting the business because you think you suck at business or you don't have the credentials or you don't have the following or it's gonna be too hard. But if you've always wanted to start one and you just never did it, because of the fear of not knowing, then you will regret it. You will look back and regret it. Um, if it's something that's plaguing you, like constantly on your mind, it, it's one of those things you're setting yourself up for some, for, some, for some regret. And that's gonna suck. That is going to suck. And it's actually gonna make you probably very resentful of the people around you who are doing business and doing things on your IG feed and everywhere else because you're like, look, they're doing it and I wanna do it and I can do what she can do I'm just not doing it. What does she have that I don't have? Nothing, nothing, just the action. She's got the action, maybe the drive, but she's, do, she's taking moves, she's making moves, right? So what are you sitting around like not moving on? Um, oh, Lana is saying, I'm so struck by your generosity and sharing your experience and your passion. It's speaking to me in what I'm feeling right now. Lana is like, she was one of my coaches and, um, you know, <laughs> time ago. Anyway, I can't even talk about it, Lana, honestly, because you can't have me crying on a Monday when I'm talking about no regrets. I can't even talk about you because you're so special. <laughs> you're so special. I can't talk about you and all the amazing things that you do, for, like, for the world. I can't. So you're not going to have me crying on a Monday. But Lana is amazing. And I, and I, like, always give thanks to the people who coach you in your life and do things for you um, who are, or who have had a, a significant impact, right? And I'll never regret... Like, and that's another regret, like, people could have, right? Like, just not thanking the people in their lives that have made such a difference. Like, guys, that person may not be here tomorrow. So if there's anybody out there that you're like, man, I wish I had thanked that person, even if it's small, like, go thank them. Go acknowledge them because that could make the biggest difference in their day. That could make the biggest difference in their life. And all it took for you was to say thank you for, the, for what you did, right? It's a huge, huge, huge contribution. Um... So go, go make that happen. I think Sheena's on here. Hey, Sheena. Oh, you are. Um, it's hard when I'm on Instagram, Facebook, where I'm looking. Sheena, I love you. Uh, so yeah, living with no regrets. Even if whatever you do turns out crappy, messy, ugly, um, nobody responds to it. You put out a business, nobody buys from you. you. You put on an Instagram live and you're like, shit, nobody showed up. Or nobody, like you know, that's all possible. And so what? Really? So what? Right? And it's all going to be hard. And the funny thing is, it's going to be hard no matter what, like whether or not you move on the thing that you're regretting, <laughs> or you think you may regret, whether you move it or not, your life is going to be hard. 
things are going to happen. Life is going to happen. Something's going to come and smack you on side your head. And you're going to be like, well, I've been doing so well at like, you know, reducing my risk. And here this thing happened. I was doing everything right. And, you know, and that's something I used to say before I got cancer. I was like, well, I was doing everything right with my health. I was eating right. I was exercising. I was doing personal development. I was surrounding myself with the right people. I was, you know, in a really healthy, amazing relationship with the most amazing man in the whole world. I love, I, you know, I fixed all my parent, you know, mother, you know, mother daughter issues. You know, if you if you're a daughter, most of us have problems with our moms. Not everyone, but most of us have some issue that's deep rooted. You know, like I fixed all of that. I was in a happy place, and I got cancer. I got cancer anyways. So there, the joke's on you. <laughs> and yes, I can laugh about it now. But I wasn't laughing about it then. But the, that's like what I want to really drill down for people. You could be doing everything right and, 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 try and being risk-free and, and trying not to get hurt and trying to make it easy, especially if you're, you know, you're fearful of getting in a relationship for you, all you single ladies out there. It's like life is going to happen anyways and pain is going to happen anyways because that's life. So stop trying to hide from it. And you know, as Les Brown would say, you can't get out of life alive. You could go and hide from pain. You can go, go, he makes this amazing analogy where he's just like, you can go hide from it under the table. The pain will come and find you, okay? It's gonna come and find you. So you might as well go and do what you love. Go do, take the risk. And I don't mean irresponsible risk where it's like you quit your job but your family's destitute on the street and you can't feed your kids, okay? Like, guys, you know, because some people go to those extremes. They say, well, Monique, you said go take a risk and I left my husband and my kids and everything is, you know, it's hard now. No, 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 no. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Calculated risk. Be smart about it. We're adults here. Okay. But at the same time, live with no regrets. Take the actions towards what it is that you want. Um, Danielle is saying, I'm constantly in my head thinking that I can't do senior roles. So I constantly settle for positions lower than my true calling because it's comfortable you have helped me to stop getting in my head oh you you are more than welcome Danielle and it's such a common thing especially I mean as women we just think we're not qualified if we, if we don't have all of the you know and this is like so many women know this right like if everything on if you're applying for a job and you don't have everything that's in the job description we don't apply we're like, oh, we don't have that yet. So we try and go get more skills or we just don't apply for it or we'll say we'll work our way up. Like men don't do that. They're risk takers. They're like, boom, I don't have it. They show up and they convince the person that whatever skill set you need, I'm going to gain it or I, just give me the chance, right? So it's the same thing with Danielle. Like, girl, you're so talented. You've been in this game. Like stop selling yourself short because really... Like the only thing standing in your way is you. You get to decide how your life goes. You get to decide what job you get. Like if you go in and you, like guys, enthusiasm is so contagious that if you go into a job, like boom, this is me. I can do this. Give me the shot. People want to work with people they like. They got to spend eight hours a day with you. They rather hire somebody they like who's willing to learn versus somebody who has all the skill set who's an asshole, you know? So just like get out of your own way, like enough. Like when are you going to be like, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired? Thank you, Jane. Put yourself out there, you know? And Jane, you know, she puts people in jobs. Danielle, you may be looking. You two need to connect. Okay, because Jane could really maybe give you some tips on just how to get out of your way, like in the job space, because that is her business. She does recruitment. So guys, you guys connect. Jane and Danielle connect. <laughs> um, so guys, just get out of your own way. One, live with no regrets. Two, thank the people in your life if they've made a difference for you. Three, and that's it. That's all I have to say for today. I'm not going to go ramble on for the rest of the 30 minutes because you don't need to. Boom, I said it, we're done. <laughs>